thanks, uh, Steve and Paul, for having me. Um, I'm sorry I don't have any slides, so I'm, uh, I'm just coming off the bench. Uh, someone pulled out and uh, all nabbed me late last week, so here I am. Uh, Australian Consolidated Milk uh, is a company that we established in uh, 2008. Um, as off the back of uh, my partner buying a dairy farm. And at the time, I was uh, doing some consulting and he, he asked me to uh, do a strategic plan for him. And I had a look for half a day and I said, look, you should have asked me before you bought it, not after. <laughs> um, and that was the genesis of uh, saying, well, what do we do now? And so I said, look, if you're going to be a price taker, you're stuffed. You need to be a price maker. And then we talked about what did that look like. And about six months later, uh, we uh, started up first owning consolidated milk. And ACM is a, we started off as a milk management company. We had one farm uh, that produced uh, 10 million litres. And after about uh, 10 months, by then we had uh, we talked about 80 different farmers and we'd uh, signed up 12 and we had 36 million litres. Uh, we are 100% uh, Australian owned and uh, we now have um, more than 320 farms who supply us. We handle about 450 million litres. Uh, and uh, we focus on stable, long-term relationships uh, with our farmers. In terms of the dairy industry, uh, as you've heard, since 2006, uh, milk supply is reduced, um, and with it, the share of exports. Reasons for the decline are environmental, competing agricultural industries, human resources, profitability and industry disruption. Despite the decline, the fundamentals for Australian dairy continue to improve, in our opinion. In terms of our integrated business model, uh, we started uh, with one dairy farm. Uh, we actually sold that in 2016, and we bought another three cents. Uh, along the journey, uh, we uh, formed a joint venture uh, with Freedom back in 2013 for Pacton Dairy Group. Uh, that was mainly for UHT. And we sold out of that uh, in um, uh, 31st of January 2017. I remember it quite well. Um, in terms of our philosophy and our um, uh, business strategy. Uh, we operate with open minds, uh, common sense, uh, a lot of analysis. I was a chartered accountant in another life, so uh, my partners uh, have a go at me for being over analytical. Uh, careful weighing, weighing of the odds. Uh, we make a firm decision and stick with it. Uh, we monitor the progress, uh, implement change when required, Modify where it's going wrong, abandon it if it's no good, learn from mistakes, but we must be profit orientated. And on that, uh, we've made a profit every year since we started. Um, we uh, have uh, milk supply in uh, all three regions in uh, Victoria and southern New South Wales. Uh, the North Milk Services, ACM, uh, uh, Gurgari plant, which I'll talk about, uh, and the East and West Services, uh, Melbourne. So we've got geographical diversity, uh, protects against seasonal volatility and assists to smooth the curve. Uh, <coughs> with the funds we receive from the sale of our uh, PDG investment, we parlayed that into a, uh, a new factory that we built 
in uh, 2019. Um, and it's a processing plant to produce um, uh, a range of dairy products, uh, butter, cream, frozen cream, chilled concentrates, various powders, uh, cheddar and mozzarella and the specialty proteins. Uh, we have a capacity of 230 million litres a year. Uh, uh, we employ uh, over 80 people and uh, this year we'll produce about 30,000 tonne of product. Um, we are the only processor in Victoria with more milk than processing assets. Um, we've performed well in a market where most have struggled. We're the most efficient and lowest cost producer with low overheads. And the cheese growth is supported by the existing pool. Um, we're attractive to farmers because um, we've listened to what they want. When we started, um, they wanted uh, a, uh, a firm price and payment every 10 days. Uh, and that's what we gave them right from the start. And I looked at only, day, only the other day that um, that was 100% who wanted payment every 10 days. Uh, as of uh, the last couple of weeks, it's about 99% who now want 15 days in a month. They're quite happy with the payment program. In terms of our products, um, we commissioned the factory in March 2019 for powder. Uh, skim milk powder, whole milk powder, buttermilk powder. Uh, and we then um, commissioned a cheese factory in uh, September 2020, which, uh, as you might remember, wasn't a great time because we couldn't get um, uh, new customers into Australia because of COVID. So I had milk coming at me 24-7. Uh, having to put it into various products and uh, uh, working capital went through the roof. But that sorted itself out in July, August 2021. And since then, we've won uh, industry award gold medals for our skim milk, powder and butter and the highest grading, che grading cheddar in 2022. In terms of this theme about uh, environmental, social and governance programs, uh, I've been watching um, uh, for the last 10 years as to how to reduce um, uh, energy costs overall. And energy in our factory represents uh, about, well, after labour, that's our second highest cost in the bill of materials. So what we are doing uh, right now, it's under construction, is we're establishing a biodigester that we will use the cheeseway permeate waste. Uh, we'll pump that to an anaerobic lagoon. Uh, we will uh, then add biomass. It will produce biomethane, which will run into the factory to, to our uh, combined heat and power machine. And that will produce 90% uh, of my electricity needs going forward uh, and 50% of my uh, steam heat. So uh, we are well on the way to net zero. I would expect, um, we've done a lot of analysis through, the, through our universities to say how much uh, methane will be produced and then we convert into electricity, but expectation is 90%. So what uh, I don't uh, capture through our uh, uh, covered anaerobic lagoon, I will top up with solar. And so we'll be net zero, I would hope, we're well on the way by 2026. So that is... Um, uh, that story in summary. Um, the Victorian, the dairy industry in Victoria is well competitively placed to be the supply hub of products into Japan. And my partner just came back from Japan 
uh, over the weekend and uh, there's some very good um, opportunities. Uh, we have less environmental impost than other countries. Um, the Dutch deer industry is being decimated through uh, government regulation. Uh, the next generation of uh, farmers are starting to come through. Uh, plus, we were seeing some uh, uh, young farmers who need capital to grow. Uh, corporate farms will continue to increase in number and size, and we will. And labour availability will continue to improve. One of the things we're doing with our uh, younger farmers, uh, we, uh, in terms of this general pessimism about uh, dairy supply continuing to decrease, I personally think it's uh, stabilised. The uh, it was only a bit over six months ago. Uh, a lot of our dairy farms uh, were covered in water. Floods uh, had a great impact. Um, and uh, the flood effect lingers on because it uh, impacts on poor quality of feed. However, things are drying out. I would expect next season to actually be a bounce back. Um, we're already seeing that with our uh, farmer forecasts. Um, and in terms of what are we doing for young farmers, uh, uh, we've started a ACM pathways where we uh, finding younger farmers who come to us and say they want help with uh, being a share farmer or they want to invest in uh, some cattle and want some capital to invest in farms. So uh, we look at that uh, quite favourably. So. Uh, in terms of uh, the future, we're pretty happy with uh, where we're positioned. Um, we, we think there's uh, still plenty of opportunity in a uh, natural uh, product uh, that's high quality, it's in high demand. So uh, that's dairy, that's ACM. Thank you.